Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to run a streamer broker node on the Flux network. I'm currently running three streamer broker nodes on my own workstation, but now we can use Flux to run broker nodes and earn more data tokens. There are advantages in using Flux, for one it's simple, very easy to set up, two is low cost, and if you don't want to run any commands and go through the steps of setting up your own node, then this is the perfect solution for you. Before jumping into how to set it up, let me show you 10 seconds on what's going on in the background while I shoot this video. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start with how to set up the broker node. If you go to streamer.network, you see here the number, the total number of nodes currently on the network and the APY. Uh, still a good percentage, a good return. Uh, annual percentage yield um, used to be much higher but you know we're still getting 31% it's a good return for me I'll take it I'm running currently three three nodes so you see I have my power shells here running constantly on this workstation that's two three three streamer nodes right now running uh, and I use docker to run this it's a virtualization software if you know if you haven't used it Go ahead and watch my previous video and I teach you step by step how to run one or multiple nodes in your workstation. Now, if you don't want to use that, now Flux comes into the rescue because now we have a, a way of running our own node on Flux. Um, for that, you can click here, run a node. This is the old way of running your streamer node through uh, the method that I just described using your PowerShell and Docker. But here at the bottom, you can see Let's go here, alternatives. You see Sonaris and Flux now. So what do we need for to run our node on Flux? We need a cell core ID or cell ID, a polling on wall wallet with data tokens you want to stake and Flux coins. So we need those three elements before jumping into how to build one. A cell ID, you just need your wallet, you know, your cell core wallet. I'll show you how to get the ID. Um, but you do need some uh, Matic or Polygon wallet set up uh, or just data tokens. What I did is I got my, my Matic already transferred and I'll show you my MetaMask. Uh, I'm in the Polygon mainnet. So if you don't have to set up your, if you don't know how to set up your network here, uh, there are plenty of instructions on YouTube or let me know and I'll help you how, how I set it up uh, so to set up this account. Uh, once you're in the Polygon main, you need to create an account. What I did is I created uh, different accounts for each streamer node. So you can see I have streamer one, streamer two, streamer three. My three nodes running on Docker are right there. And I just created that streamer four. So I want to keep each streamer node in a different uh, account. So what you need to do is you need to click on account here and you need to create an account for each streamer node you want. All right, so let's go into streamer number four. Assets here, you can see I have Matic, but I have zero data uh, tokens to be uh, staked, right? So I need to have my data, uh, data my Matic converted to data, and then we can, we can set up the node and we can stake those nodes. All right, let's go ahead and do step now, number one to, is to get data tokens. So if you go to wallet.polygon.technology, we're gonna take those Matic that I have, so I'm gonna click proof of stake. I'm gonna say swap. All right, I'm gonna go to my wallet here. You need to select the proper account where you're gonna stake your streamer nodes or data tokens. So I'm gonna use my fourth streamer fourth there. All right, I'm gonna click connect here, connect. All right, let, let Polygon connect that account. All right, seems that it's connect. So now let's do Matic. There it is, that's the max. And then I'm gonna do data here. Let's type it here, data, streamer, perfect. Then I'm gonna do uh, max, all right. I guess I get uh, about 10,000. Uh, what else I'm gonna do here? Let's see the slippage here, 1%. I don't wanna pay any more. Become sufficient fungus. All right, so let's do that again. Uh, let's do just a little bit less. Let's do 3,330. All right, perfect. So we're gonna swap all that for 10,038 data. Swap, swap, 
waiting for you to sign. Let's confirm that. All right, max fee is gonna be 0.23 of a Matic. Sounds good. Transaction is being processed. You can be in poly polygon scan. All right, let the transaction finish. Okay, let's see. Assets. Let's refresh this. This is a streamer. Let's refresh this. There it is. So in 9,938, that's how many data tokens I have. So one thing is the each streamer node can um, can stake up to 20,000. That's the maximum. So you want to stake a little bit less than 20,000 because you can go over 20,000. So you, you want to maybe you want to take 18,000 or 18,000. Um, I'm, I'm good here. I have about like uh, 11,000 on each on each node. So they, they keep growing independently. Um, but I'm going to start this with 9,938 data tokens. So we're good now to for step number two. OK, and now that we have our data tokens in an account, let's go over the official uh, medium, official medium post here from Flux. Um, how host your streamer broker node via the Flux Marketplace. Let's go here. We've done all this description of here it is. Once you have a beneficiary address with stake data tokens ready, we can proceed with the Flux Cloud deployment process. All right. We need to first head over to this address, HTTPS home.runonflux.io. So we're going to click there. All right, perfect. So uh, let's, let's keep, we're there. Once here, we need to log in using your cell ID available for uh, us via cell core. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and click there. This is how you're gonna get your cell core uh, wallet. If you don't have to do it, I have a, a previous video on how to do it. Go ahead and download your cell core, set it up. You need a user ID and password and two-factor authentication and that's how you're gonna get your wallet. This is the official one, so. That's, that's the cell core. All right, so let's continue. If you don't have an account, creating a cell core. I, I assume that you already have that done that step. So you first need to download and install the app. Next, mandatory for your world safety, enable two-factor authentication. As I said before, that's needed on, on, on cell core wallet. Let's keep going. Now you can take the game by clicking on the fingerprint button or manually by seeing the message manual on cell core wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back here. All right, I'm gonna click there. It's taking me. You're gonna have to set up your own pin. Sign in. Perfect. Mes message sign and sent. All right, close. Now that you have been authenticated, head over to uh, HTTPS home that run on flash uh, flux .io, apps marketplace. So uh, and look for the streamer application. All right, so let's do that right now. Let's click there. All right, let's go to Marketplace and let's search for Streamer now. There it is, that Streamer now. Let's go back to the guy here, step number three. Now that you have authenticated, head over, we've done that. It should be look like it should be looking like this. Yes, we found it. All right, let's see number four. Add your beneficiary address to your Streamer broker node via an environment EMV. The EMV for this purpose is called Streamer Broker Plugins Robert, a minor beneficiary address. So simply enter your address in the field provided and click start launching marketplace. So let's do that right now. Let's go back here. Oh, sorry, here. Streamer node. There it is. That's that's the parameter which just read value. Here says your beneficiary address. Enter your polygon address here. So I'm gonna click my MetaMask. Make sure you have the account. You select the account where you're going to run the node on. In my case, I'll name it Streamer Fourth, so I know that's the one. And see here, you can copy to the clipboard, click there, right click, paste. There it is. All right, and now let's see here the additional details. All right, we'll do there. Let's set here, start, start launching Marketplace app. So let's do that. Click. All right. Check registration. All right, so let's do our registration message first. So let's click next. Sign in app message with cell core. So we got to sign in again here. So I'm going to click the cell ID. 
gonna take me back to my uh, Cellcore wallet. I'm gonna tap my, e my pin here, sign and send, message sign and send, perfect. So I'm gonna close, let's go back. All right, so there it is. Now I do next, register app, price is 3.5 flux. So it's gonna charge me 3.5 flux per month, okay? So compared to a BPS, this is a really cheaper option, cheap option. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and register flux app. So I'm gonna do that. Propagate, propagating message across flux network. Let's wait and let that finish process. Okay, that, that's done. Registration hash received. Perfect, we're good to go. Let's click on next. Send payment. To finish the application update, please send a transaction of 3.5 flags to the address. There it is, with the following message. The transaction might be mine by four, five. All right, so it does give me a time frame where the transaction needs to be uh, mined by. Uh, will be subscribed until three seconds. So here it says until the day is gonna be sub subscribed, which is in a month from now, all right? So I'm gonna pay with Cellcore. I'm gonna click here. Proceed to pay. All right. Uh, let's see where I'm gonna choose this. That's the address. Choose account for contact. Uh, and from income, okay. I'm gonna send it from my income. If you wanna send it from a different wallet, you just click here. Uh, let's say I have some in the, let me have, see. Yeah, I have in income. All right, that's a good one. If you wanna select, just select there and change it 3.5. This is the speed, economy, normal or fast. That changed to 0.000, so I will do fast as a note send. Yes, send, pin again, all right, let's do that. Flux is for the send, transaction, perfect. So we're done there. Let's go back to this step. All right, we just pay um, the 3.5 flux. Let's click on finish. Please ensure that you have paid for your app or save the payment details for later. You can do that later. Uh, you have you have a, a certain amount of time, but I just I, I, I just did it. So close the lock. Yes. All right, we're good here. All right, let's go back to the guy. We've done all this. Five was next to screen. We've done that registration. Yes, we've done that. We we have a click on the fingerprint. Uh, the monthly cost we know is 3.5. We've done that registration. It will be given for a payment. Payment through Flux, yes, we've done that. Select pay with Selco, we've done that, you're done. All right, step number 11, you're done. We now need to wait for the broker node to be spawned on the available node, which usually takes between 10 and 30 minutes. So let's let's go ahead and wait for that, and then let's see if we see anything different. If you click on your Cellcore wallet, uh, you should see the transactions here, see? Um, minus 3.5, so that means that we pay, if I click here, uh, confirmation zero. So we still, the, the network is still confirming uh, this transaction, right? Uh, um, so we're gonna give it some time, uh, or I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and then I come back, but at least I see that the transaction was sent out from my wallet. I just need to wait for the confirmations to increase. So we're good to go for now. Let's go now back to home, that random flux.io here, let's go to, apps here, if you click global apps, then you have the active apps and then my apps. So let's click on my apps and then you should see your streamer node there. Uh, let's go ahead and click visit. Let's see if it's ready. All right, so this means that deployment is in progress, decentralizing your app, standby. So your application is currently being propagated across the Flux cloud. A flux node should pick it up in the next 10, five to 10 minutes. So that means, you know, we, we've done enough. So the, the, the node is set up, but we still need the, the network to pick it up and, and propagate it. So let's wait additional 10 more minutes. Okay, and while my node is being propagated in the flux network, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the, the guide here. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna check all this, that the, the flux node is, is running properly later. Let's go here, I wanna show you a way to scan 
your rewards. So your rewards are gonna get accumulated in your um, net, in your wallet. So you're gonna see your uh, at the beginning of the month all the rewards being accumulated on on your wallet. So uh, what you wanna see if you wanna scan, use the community built-in. It's called Brabber Scan Dashboard. So you click there, and you see here Brabber Scan that app. Um, I'm gonna post this in the comments section below. But what you should do is you should click uh, your MetaMask. Uh, I'm gonna copy one of my previous uh, notes here. I'm gonna go to, let's say, number two, copy. I'm gonna paste here. Paste. All right, and run. All right, and you see here, this is a community build uh, scan that helps you check on your stats and see how your node is doing. So status, okay, this is an, uh, a, one of the nodes that I'm running on my work, workstation. I've been running for, for quite a uh, few months now. Uh, ladies claim, three minutes ago, the address, stake. This is how much I have stake in that so far. Actually, I started with like 9,000, you know, so it's been increasing. And this is so far in the month what I uh, need to be uh, rewarded with. Um, what I already been sent total rewards and the uh, percentage of received claims, 67%. All right, so that's that's the way you check every month. And then your data token, this is your data tokens accumulated. You're gonna see the totals um, distributed into your account. So you just need to check on your data tokens here and you'll see the total being increased every month. Now, this streamer node is good for a month. That's, that's about how many, I think it's, uh, 22,000 uh, cycles on flats. That's about a month. So we gotta renew it every month if, wanna, if we wanna keep it running, right? But it's a way uh, to renew it uh, for a longer period. So let's go back to randomflags.io. Uh, let's go to the global apps here. Click on my apps. And then instead of visit, just do manage here. Yes, manage. All right, so let's go to down here, global specifications, uh, update specifications, and you can see here, um, period. So it's one month, but actually I can change that three months, six months, up to one year. So you can actually, and if you do one year, you can compute the update message. You agree, you gotta agree to the terms of service and you gotta pay. So you can pay in advance in Flux and extend the duration of your uh, of your uh, uh, no running on Flux for just more than, than one month, right? So you don't have to keep paying every month and renew it. So that's that's a good um, way of just forgetting paying in advance and let the Flux network uh, run the, the node for you. Okay, and that's pretty much it on how to set up your data token broker node on flats uh, and you start earning data tokens uh, at 31% uh, APR. Not bad, the data token, let's see here, uh, it has a market cap of 24 million. Uh, the maximum supply is 2 billion and we already, total supply has been 1 million, so halfway there, we still have another halfway of supply. Um, at one point it reached, let's, let's take a look, it reached an all-time high here according to uh, Binance, it reached almost you know, 30, 32 cents. So wouldn't that be sweet? I mean, um, we're with, with now at you know 10 times lower the price. We're at 3 cents, 3.2 cents. So we'll see, I'm gonna keep accumulating. I have four streamer uh, nodes. I hope you guys enjoy and we're able to set up your own node. Let me know if you run into any problems. And if you enjoy the video, hit like. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.